in the other side of the hay gain unit is the nutrition side, um, now that we've kind of gone over some of the respiratory concepts, if you will. Nutrition, as we know, matters in the horse. And so what do we need to do? We need to feed them appropriately. And people have been writing in asking us about laminitis. And because that is not necessarily the number one disease of horses, but it is definitely one of the top five. And it's a difficult disease to manage, both medically and also nutritionally. And so what do we do to those horses that prompts the question from owners about hay in laminate horses? We then take that horse that's been on a very lush grass or alfalfa hay, and then we offer them as veterinarians a lower grade quality of hay, and not in the sense that the hay is a low grade in, in quality or cut, but because of the caloric density is less. We're trying to reduce the sugars and starches in a given hay source. So we find that in our practice and other uh, farms across the United States that these laminate horses, sometimes people uh, have ponies or horses, that we feed them a lower energy source hay, yet they find it unpalatable. And so the palatability is the restriction that the veterinarian faces in their medical protocol. So by steaming the hay, the palatability of lower digestible energy hays, things like Timothy hay or oat hay like on the west coast, become more palatable for those horses and then we can then optimize their nutrition during their acute or chronic laminate condition.